What up guys, it's none other than your girl cooking with Tammy and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pastrami melt or should I say just a big old sandwich guys. To start, I like to top my sandwiches with jalapenos, onions and a spring mix which has like spinach and different types of lettuce in there as well as tomatoes and as you guys can see there's a big old bread guys. It's a challah bread almost like a brioche bread and moving right along. I already have my grill is preheated and oiled and greased and all that stuff and I'm gonna start laying that pastrami onto this nice hot grill. Oh my god just talking about it my mouth is salivating guys. And just to let you guys know I'm using about a pound of meat okay not half a pound but a pound of delicious fresh pastrami guys. And I'm just going to fry it up because I love my sandwich meat fried for some odd reason. Well, I'm not going to say odd, but for some reason. I just love the warmth of it and just the, oh my God, when the cheese is melted onto it and it just melts in your mouth. So delicious, guys. All right. Once the meat is nice and hot and sizzling, I'm going to flip the meat over. Just like this. Mm-hmm. The smell, oh my god guys, amazing. Alrighty. And as you can see, the pastrami is nice and hot, so I'm going to take advantage of this time and add my pepper jack cheese. Guys, it's something about pepper jack with pastrami. The flavors, out of this world. However though, if you prefer like let's say maybe white American, provolone, Swiss, whatever, knock yourself out. Do whatever you want to do. It's your sandwich. Alright, now that our cheese is layered, as you can see it's starting to melt. Oh my god. Anyway guys, I lowered the flame at this point to low heat because I don't want the meat to be too overcooked, of course. And so this wonderful braided challah style brioche bread, <laughs> I've already layered it with mayo and mustard. And I'm going to take our pastrami melt and I'm just going to layer it onto the bread. Once I'm done with that part, oh my god guys, look at the cheese. Look at how gooey. So, oh my god, it looks so good. You see what I'm doing, right guys? I'm just layering on this meat as if there's no tomorrow. I'm just stacking it up. If you don't know what to make for game day, trust me, this sandwich right here is the ultimate Super Bowl game day sandwich. And now I'm going to start off with adding my um, spring lettuce or spring mix, I should say. Followed by my tomatoes. And my onions. and jalapenos and we're gonna try to close this bad boy up guys but as you can see it's like I don't know if it's gonna happen but anyway this sandwich is being actually made for my husband and he said to me he's like babe I just want a big ass sandwich and I'm like okay boo don't worry about it I got you your girl got you and yeah this is the final results guys as always thank you so much for cooking with Tammy be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when your girl uploads. And, of course, enjoy, guys.